what would happen to LSE if we transported everything, the facilities, the staff, all of the faculty to another country? Well, of course, some changes would take place. We would mirror some of the culture in the country we land. And we would mirror some of the differences on its institutions. There is a core that we think won't change precisely because we have both designed it and protected it. It's the understanding that we have one aim, which is understanding the sources of things. And we would still strive one way or another to build a system around it. And therefore, I think that the LSE would look in its core precisely the same. Think of a stereotypical service, dry cleaning. The way that value is created in dry cleaning is not precisely for us to stay there during the cleaning. You want the service to be outsourced and the value is created when you come back for the outcome and your clothes are clean. That's not the view that we should have about education. The value in education is partly created and mostly created while you're there. So it's not really about what you learn only, but how you learn it. And therefore, the approach has to always involve some form of immersion for the student so that the student can perceive the knowledge as being created with his or her participation. One of the ideas that I wanted to, um, to share with students was this idea of the old technology having some features that you still want and, they, and yet you have to forego because the new technology in total will create more value. And so in order for that contrast to not only come across but to explain why there is resistance to change very often inside the organization, and often also among consumers outside of the organization, is to get students to try that. So we went ahead and designed an immersion for disruption in which the students would be, suddenly after the break, disrupted with a different way of teaching. Many of my students found it difficult to respond to a change. In fact, there was a, a variety of responses um, some of them approached me at the end and said, you know, that was brilliant, it left me thinking. Others immediately during our debriefing said, it got them thinking about the possibilities for other markets, for many of the businesses they have in mind. Some of them are entrepreneurs and were already thinking about how to create value. And so there was a, a different set of responses depending on your background and how involved you got in the, in the exercise. Of course, I think the majority reported it as uncomfortable, right? And many of them insisted at the end, would it have been helpful to rehearse it before <laughs> starting the project? Which is very difficult because then it, it loses the immersion, right? If you really believe that education is an experience good, then you really need to get the message along with the experience. And so I think it was both, um, sort of difficult to navigate, and at the same time, very useful for reflection for all of the students in their own different way.